So, uh, I had a slight issue in recent days where my computer uh, basically decided to give up the ghost, or at least the motherboard did, and uh, I had to take it all apart. I had to take out um, all the liquid cooling and stuff, and it was because of this little joint right here. Uh, that's a 60 degree angle fitting right there to allow me to um, uh, bend the tubing back to a point uh, where it won't be disconnecting and leaking everywhere. So um, I, get, I thought this would be a good time to actually just kind of show off my system's specs. And uh, if you're watching this video right now, uh, good news, at least it um, works. So um, for starters, let's just start off with the case. This is a Corsair 750D Obsidian case. Uh, I've custom modded it uh, quite a few times. The back panel, which isn't existent, has a fan on the back of it. And the front here, as you can see, has my reservoir. It's got a uh, monsoon reservoir. Uh, and it's the water level is on the front. It is still partially filled, so I'm going to have to clean that out. And then on the inside of the case, you can see the rat's nest of tubing, wires, and stuff that I'd left over, and my two rads. I've got a 360 millimeter rad up at the top, and the 280 millimeter rad in the front. And those are Noctua fans up at the front as well, so those are basically my emergency fans. I've got some uh, Noctua fan in the back as well to pull some of the air through the case. So um, uh, that's the case, like I said, I'm gonna kind of go through some of the components. And of course there's a huge rat nest in the back of the case as well, um, prompting me to do something completely strange and um, not particularly usual. So if we come over here, um, some, of the, some of these parts are brand new, like the box, the motherboard right here. This is, um, this is my replacement motherboard to the one to the right of it, which is the old ROG Crosshair Formula Z motherboard. Uh, the reason why I had to replace it was it fried uh, while I was playing uh, Factions the other day, and so now I'm having to rebuild it all, and I've got my CPU still kind of stuck in there with all my mounting hardware. Um, my GPUs, which I do play for other games, by the way, they're both R9290s, and you can see that they are water-cooled, and um, they have a uh, brand new fitting on there, which I'm pretty pumped about. My uh, my storage solutions. So my storage solutions are uh, kind of interesting. I've got a, what is a 300 uh, gigabyte hard drive at the top there, um, and at the bottom is a 3 terabyte hard drive in the bottom, and those run at different speeds. And then in addition to that, I have a, a uh, 128 gigabyte boot SSD, um, this guy right here, you know, 128 gigabytes of Samsung 840 Pro, and then two identical drives, 850 Evos from Samsung as well. Uh, they're 500 gigabytes for a total of uh, four terabytes of four terabytes plus storage, and about one terabyte is fast. Um, and those are actually running RAID zero, so hopefully I can actually run those in legit RAID zero through the RAID controller card. So over here we have uh, my power supply. That's an EVGA 1000 watt. Um, T, uh, P2, so that's a platinum, 80 plus platinum efficiency right there. Uh, so the uh, so EGA Supernova 1000 P2 has been my power supply for about a year now. It's the most, so far, up until this point, it was the newest component. This is an old THX sound card that my granddad passed down to me. Um, its use is very limited in my case, but I keep it in here just in case if I need like a backup audio source. Um, of course, there are my keys, and here's some other things. Um, I've, I bought these just to kind of test around with them. These are uh, some more monsoon fittings, and these have a special way of getting on there. Hold on. These have a special way of actually getting on there. They've got a these wrenches right here. They use um they use a uh, they have like these these things right here where it fits on, and then you can just kind of tighten them like that. Um, and that's kind of how I'm going to be replacing the blocks on my CPU water block. Um, my RAM kit, I've got, actually, there are two different kits, they, um, but they're both from the same manufacturer, and I bought them from the same Newegg item link. These are both 8-gig uh, kits of DDR3 2133 MHz RAM. Um, and they both have, like, cast, la cast latencies of 11, and they keep going up. Um, yeah, CEL. 11, 11, 11, and 30 at 1.6 volts, and I've tried overclocking them before. 
And uh, like I said, this is my old motherboard, if I could focus, yeah. This is my old motherboard, it's a uh, Asus ROG Crosshair Formula Z. You can see right there in the, um, in the logo right there, and my CPU, although the thermal paste is gunking it up, is an AMD FX9370. Um, and uh, it's kind of funny, you have to have a specific board for those uh, components to work together. So uh, that 9370 was um, compatible with my new 990FXA uh, R5 re revision motherboard from Gigabyte. And I've actually owned this board before, and I've actually given it to my sister, but uh, that old board doesn't actually work with my CPU, so I'm going to have to try something a little different um, to see if maybe I can fix things out. And I'm sorry, I'm recording this with my phone, so I'm having to do some, um, some interesting things. And then finally, uh, something else that, you know, you just got to keep it up going. I needed some more tubing uh, for my computer, so this is some Prima Chill uh, half inch to three quarter inch um, diameter tubing. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll t take some more, uh, maybe some more photos and some more videos here in a bit as I'm taking things to get, putting things together, and uh, um, we'll see how it all goes together. Hopefully I can get it all working back together. Like I said, if you're watching this video, um, then yeah, I have done that. So we'll uh, see you in a bit. There's, um, there's actually one more component that I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit into this video. It's not coming today. Um, I'm quite surprised that the other components are all here today. Um, it's actually some stuff from NZXT, and it's a fan hub along with a, uh, the NZXT Hue Plus, which I'll get some sexy footage of once that's all up and running. I've heard that I've heard great things from that. So, uh, so I'll see you guys in a second here, and uh, with some some more updates.